Hi, the Brick Who Cares, and I want to talk about Assassin's Creed. And yes, there's not going to be another Assassin's Creed Saddles, like loads of people do online. To be honest with you, we all know it is a train wreck, and the way it's going, it's going to fail badly. But, while going through TikTok, and I saw this one video that stuck out, and did a part of this video got me think, saying, this could be true. I want to show you here right now. It seems like everybody's praying for Ubisoft and Assassin's Creed Shadow's downfall. But let me ask you this. Is the anger exclusively targeted at Ubisoft? Or are people done with Assassin's Creed? Are we done with Assassin's Creed? That is a good question. But think about it. The whole fan side is over 10 years old. We got a hell of games from this fan size. Basically, one title a single year, almost. Are we done? To be honest, yeah. I don't think we're done. But there are problems that are killing this fan size. The first problem is the formula getting stale now. Now people will say what do you mean about the formula? Now, since Assassin's Creed's Oricons, the formula is you pick a male character or a female character, you do your story, and that's it. Then go to the next game, with one or two improvements. You pick a male character or a female character, you finish your story, but it's in a different time period. And then you go to the next game, Rinse and repeat. And that's what it's been like in Oricons. Yes, I know people will type down, Wait a minute! How about Mirage? Which is, again, the only one of Assassin's Creed game that done something different in a way. But that game meant me go back to the roots. Which it didn't. It did, but it failed in a way. And again, I'm not counting the VR titles, I'm talking about the main Assassin's Creed games, the main ones, right? Now, that's the problem. The formula is stale. It needs to do something different with the formula. Yeah, I give Shadows credit. It did technically try to do something different because you go ahead and act the gameplay and um, the two characters are different. The male character is a tank in Saddles and the female target is a stealthy type character. But I wouldn't say that's mind blown at all. So, yes. Now, I don't know a problem we got with Assassin's Creed fan size is there's no more high for East installments no more in the story. A lot of people say, what do you mean? Now, let's go back to the first Assassin's Creed games. You know, the first ones. One, two, are caught in, and including the other ones in, after two, which is uh, the Edge of Question, with, you know, the other two games on that. And three. Now, what those, those games, it all are connected with one big story. After each installment, you got hype. Because you invest in the characters, you invest in the story. You don't have that no more. Again, I'm not saying all Assassin's Creed games have been bad after three. I mean, Black Flag is fantastic. I mean, Unity is good, even though it had a messy Warned, but I actually enjoyed Unity. But on story wise, you're not that investing the cards no more because you know in the next game they're gonna do a whole new character and that's it. Why like I said before with Oricons, you know, especially each game, you get a whole new character and, and that's it. Instead of doing like more with that character and then he made that jump to the next time period it's mind-blowing why i said before 
go to Assassin's Creed 1. Then you go to number 2. You're mind blown because, you know, you're in a different time period. Then you go to number 3. You're even more mind blown because, like I said, you know, before Assassin's Creed 3, you've got two other games that set during Assassin's Creed 2. You know what I mean? That is the problem we got now with the Assassin's Creed franchise. That there's not engagement. There's no, um, oh my god, I can't wait. I cannot wait for the next chapter of this game. That is the problem. Now, I know I hear rows of videos on here and rows of tweets saying that it's the EI is the big problem with Assassin's Creed Saddles. Chris, I do agree in small ways. It is a problem. It's not just Assassin's Creed, it's the whole industry. You know, movies, shows, and games. It is a problem because, again, to me personally, I'm up for diversity, I'm up for recitation, but I don't want to force down your throats while doing art. I think whoever does the art should put that in by their choice, not by some group saying that. <laughs> Again, but it's not the main problem. It's a part of it. It's not the main problem. Why I said before the main problem with Assassin's Creed is Ubisoft is terrible at one of its fan size. Yeah, it done well with a couple of entries. Why I said before Origins is a good game. RG is a good game. And hopefully Saddles end up shocking people being good, which I cannot see at the moment now, the way Ubisoft is going. But this is another thing too, which is the other problem with Saddles. Everyone wanted Assassin's Creed in Japan. We all wanted it. We all want this game. The problem is Ubisoft was so elegant not knowing people what they want and it left too long because a better game came out called Ghost of Tsushima. That's the sad thing about it. Ghost of Tsushima came out, pure mind blown by that and now the problem is it got to try to up it with I don't sound stupid on paper, but if you have the people walk, walk the game side to side, people are going to compare go to Zazima. So to me personally, it shows up, left this idea and do something different with it. But sadly, we're not. So, what would I do now? If I was in charge of this franchise, I'd leave it alone. I'd do no more games for a while. But still make Netflix so. If that does very well, like and that increase your old game sales, then do a reboot. Do a reboot and make so in this reboot, each game are connected again. Yeah, I know they are connected anyway, technically, but I talk about how like one main character right in the first game. And you go through his journey, going through different ancestries in each game. Or, what like I said before, with Assassin's Creed 2, do what it done with one ancestries, go through his storyline with multiple games, and then make that jump to the next time period. That's what I would do for the future of Assassin's Creed. None of this life savers crap. We, we do not want this life savers at all. We don't. We do not want it. That what I would do. So, where got my outro, shall we? So, my outro. I had a good week this week. You know, I'm telling, you know, playing um, Zelda's um, Echo of Wisdom, which I enjoy at the moment now. And basically, the reason why I made this video is obviously Ubisoft is having a terrible time at the moment now. And to be honest with you, I do not wish no bound A company, but Ubisoft is one of those companies that they do deserve it. 
the way they've done this business model the last couple of years, oh my fucking god, it's been terrible. And it's not like it got one fan size you can work on. It got multiple fan sizes like Splinter Cell, you know, Wayman, you know what I mean? It got all these fan sizes and somehow we're not getting these games. Instead, we're getting the same Just Dance game every single year. We get an, a, a season pass or a subscription service for Rainbow Six. No single player Rainbow Six game, which I don't understand why we don't have one yet because I think back in the day, Rainbow Six was an amazing game series. It's still, again, the way it's good now, the multiplayer, but come on, we need a single player game. And like I said before, Splinter Cell. Where's the fuck is Splinter Cell? So, my question of the day is Is the Saturn Creed done? I'll try to tell my, on the title of the video. So, I hear your thoughts on the comments below. If you like this video, be really a like. And if you want to see more like this in the future, please subscribe my channel. This has been a bit who cares. See you on the next one.